to VLOOKUP or not to VLOOKUP? That is the question. And up to this point, there's a lot of people who only know how to use VLOOKUP when you're trying to execute on a lookup join situation with a bunch of data. So I'm here to help you teach you a couple of different options that you have at your disposal. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in and check out what we're talking about. So here I have a basic couple of tables. You've got a data table up here, and this is named products, where it's got a product name on the left, a product ID in the middle, and a product name on the right. You've got a list of product IDs here with some sales listed in this column here. And we've got an opportunity to provide a product name using VLOOKUP, the redheaded stepchild of the lookup family, HLOOKUP, index match using a vertical lookup, index match using a horizontal lookup, X lookup going vertical and X lookup using horizontal. And just for funsies, I've got a crappy formatted table here just to show you how to use the horizontal methods that we're going to talk about. So first things first, VLOOKUP. Everyone knows this, right? You go equals VLOOKUP. And what the heck am I looking up? I want to look up the product ID. Now, where am I going to find the product ID? This is important in a VLOOKUP. I guess it's important in all of the methods, but for this specific example, we're gonna need to make sure that whatever we select as our table array, the leftmost column includes the product ID or the thing that we are looking up. And then from there, we hit comma, and we have to provide the column index that we want retrieved. So in this case, we've got product ID is column one, and product name R is column two. That's what we wanna retrieve. So we're gonna go two, comma, and what do we want? We want an exact match or false. I'm gonna just hit zero just for fun. We can close our parentheses, hit enter, and there you go. There is a classic VLOOKUP. Couple of shortcomings of VLOOKUP that you should be aware of if you're not already. Number one, you can only look up from left to right. So in the event that maybe this column did not exist and you only had your product ID here and your product name here, you would be in a situation where you could not look up off of this going backwards. That's ding number one. Ding number two, well, ding number two is the fact that I had to type in a two here to say I wanna reference column number two. Now, there are ways around this to make it a little bit more dynamic where you can throw in a match function, but then it starts to get more complicated. You've got more moving parts, and that's not necessarily going to be the best option in this case. So really what you're stuck with is a static reference. And if you insert a column here, that reference is no longer going to be valid and you need to know to go back and make that update to make sure that your data is consistent and accurate. So those are a couple of things there. Let's jump into H lookup, nobody's favorite. Okay, similar to V lookup, we're gonna go H lookup. And what are we looking up? Once again, it's the product ID and where are we gonna find that? Well. In this case, because it's a horizontal lookup, we're looking across columns and we're gonna be going downward. So we're gonna to to select the row instead of a V lookup, which the data is listed vertically and we're going on a column reference. So here, our reference here is gonna be this little table. Hit F4 to lock that. The other F4. And then our row index, again, is going to be two. And our lookup here is also gonna be an exact match. I'm gonna type zero, enter and we've got it to work, that's wonderful. So it did what it needed to do, but again, in the instance that maybe this row did not exist and you wanted to look up backwards, you can't do it with an HLOOKUP. And again, same rigidity exists as far as if you were to insert a row here, it's gonna break your reference and all hell breaks loose, nobody wants that. Insert index match. Now. You've probably heard of index match before. It can be intimidating because it's not just one, but two functions. And a lot of folks just don't even understand how any one of them works on their own, let alone together. That makes the syntax a little bit more confusing, but I can assure you that once you see how it works, it's really not that bad. In fact, it's something that I used for many, many, many years. Most people who are dealing with data on a day-to-day -day basis are very familiar with this. It's backwards compatible, it has a lot of benefits, and it can look up not just left to right, but right to left. It can look up top to bottom, bottom to top, all the good things. 
So here's how it works. What do we want to populate this column here? So that is our index. Index is saying, I want to retrieve our product name. And you can choose either from the left column or the right column. It doesn't matter. That's one of the great things that's flexible about index. I'm going to choose the left just to show you that it can do it. And then next, this is where we would add the match function. But to demonstrate how the index function works, I've got these very simple product IDs, one, two, and three. They just happen to coincide with row number one, two, and three. And my product ID is listed over here. I can simply highlight my product ID and hit enter, and it's going to retrieve those based on the number, right? But where this breaks down is if, just in case, let's say that the del deluxe widget is actually item number three, and this is item number two, now everything breaks, right? We don't want that. So that's why you don't wanna rely on simply indexing unless you know that your index references are perfect like this. So let's add in some flexibility, okay? So instead of referencing the product ID, we are gonna reference a match. The way that match works is it wants a lookup value, which in our case here is going to be the product ID. And then it wants to know, hey, where am I gonna find that product ID in relation to our index? Well, it's right here, the product ID column. What do we want? We want an exact match, that's a zero. And now what's gonna happen is when it finds product ID number three, it's gonna say, oh, it's in the third position. And then it's going to retrieve the, the appropriate thing. So if we hit enter, look at that, it worked. Now, let's test it though. If I were to change this to a three and a two, look at that. It automatically adjusts to make sure that it's grabbing the right thing, which it wouldn't have done if we had just used an index alone. So it's awesome like that, right? Go ahead and put those back. Now, just to prove to you that this is a more flexible function than just a straight V lookup or just a straight H lookup, we're gonna do a horizontal lookup index match here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing, equals index. Where am I gonna find my information? I'm gonna find it here, or I could do here. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do it up on top just to prove a point. F4 for that. Now, where am I going to match? What am I gonna find? I'm gonna find the product ID. The product ID is going to exist here, F4 that, and we want an exact match again, close parentheses, enter, and wouldn't you know it, it worked beautifully. Index match working on both situations, both vertical and horizontal. Again, one of the biggest shortcomings of the index match is really just the syntax it's confusing i get it it's a little intimidating in that way because it's just you're combining two functions and sometimes you forget especially if you're not using it on a day-to-day -day basis so what we have these days is the great luxury of the x lookup so let's check it out let's go equals x lookup what am i looking up what's my lookup value well, i'm going to look up the product id where am i going to find that value i'm going to find it right here Okay, and then what do I want to return? You can choose here, or you can choose here, the left or the right, it doesn't matter, it's flexible in that way. So I'm gonna choose the left just to prove a point. And then you have these bracketed options here where you can say, hey, if it's not found, what do you want me to do? If uh, the data is in a specific order, do we want it to be an exact match? Do we want to go up or down, like match the next larger or smaller item? Do you want to use wild cards and further? Do you want to search from top to bottom, bottom to top? How do you want to do it? We don't need any of those things. We can just close our parenthesis here and hit enter and it works. Not only that, just like with the index match, we can go both directions. Let's do it again. X lookup product ID. Where are we going to find the product ID? We're going to find it right here for that. And what do we want to return once we find it? Again, you can choose either the top here or the bottom, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna to stick to the bottom this time. And again, we can make a selection here if we wanna do something about it not being found, how we wanna match, how we wanna search. Don't need to do that. We can hit just close parenthesis, hit enter, and it works like a charm. So there you have it. There are options when it comes to looking things up. X lookup, the benefits here are tremendous. It's very flexible, it's very fast. The syntax makes sense. The only issue that some might have with XLOOKUP is that 
it's only going to be available up to a certain point. So it's not backwards compatible if you're on an ancient version of Excel, in which case index match is gonna be the preferred method. However, XLOOKUP, it's in Google Sheets, it's in the current version of Excel. I would highly recommend if you have access to it, use it, love it. Thanks for watching.